It's a small things I like It's a little things I want, want Baby, you're just my type When you do those little things yeah. Show me just what you like I don't need a wedding ring yeah. Flowers are just my vibe Make me feel like golden spring Call me to say goodbye Baby, it's those little things Cruising on your ride Stargazing in July It's the little things I like Small kisses on my mind It's the little things I like Give me your, give me your, give me your love Small things I like It's the little things I want It's the small things I like It's the little things I want Greetings from Jacksonville, Arkansas. Today is May the 23rd, 2024. It's Thursday and the time is approximately 5.39 p.m. Y'all, this is what I'm up to today. I'm going to be very quick about this. I have the um, store brand Easy Skillet Beef Lasagna Pasta and Tomato Sauce Mix here. And I have put my on twist on in here I put in my special favorite seasonings and instead of using regular seasoning salt I went in with a little bit of beef bouillon for the ground with the ground beef for seasoning and also use some big mama seasoning this stuff is really good y'all I'm out of it I got to get some more of it um, so big mama soul seasoning is sold at cash saver Edwards in Jacksonville and Little Rock Arkansas and it's not on the regular seasoning aisle, it's in us, but like, they have it like down the aisle somewhere. As you can see, it's distributed by SW Salsa Sales, and they're located in Little Rock, Arkansas. Y'all, this stuff is good on fish, it's good on greens, it's good on pork chops, it's good on everything. So if you hadn't tried Big Mama Soul Food Seasoning, I highly advise you to get some. Y'all, I used it to the last, okay? So, um, y'all... Um, also, I just want to show, share with you that I have pulled out this two liter starry lemon lime soda. This is a product of PepsiCo Company. And um, this is what I'm up to this, this Thursday. I started to say Friday, y'all. It feels like it, but we're not quite there yet. So it's Thursday, I guess it's the hump day. So I'm out and I thank you guys for watching my content. I'll see you on the next. And also y'all, my, um, my strike that I wrongfully received has been lifted from my YouTube account where I was not able to post or do any uploads because of an, an entity that falsely flagged my personal playlist of an African playlist with different recipes and news clips and movies and different things, foreign films. And it falsely flagged a playlist, y'all, that had content uploaded by other YouTubers. So y'all, anyways, I'm out, and I'll also before I leave, I want to share with you all that I put in some Fiesta cheese up here in the top. Also added some chopped diced green peppers. I sauteed the ground beef. Actually, I sauteed the pasta with some onion and a little bit of butter and margarine. And already had its own natural oils from the ground beef, which I did drain almost all of. But you want to always leave some of that ground beef oil so that your food the meat don't be too dry so i'm gonna give this a stare and so you can see it so again this is the best choice beef lasagna and i always customize it to suit my taste and instead of using regular seasoning salt i did use a combination of the beef bouillon and a big mama soul season which i'm out of that now and um and so here we go i'm just going to show you guys oh one thing before i show you that y'all let me turn off this oven let me turn it off. I uh, guess what? I got some got some garlic bread in here. Let me take that out. You don't want this to overheat, y'all, because if it do, it'll turn into croutons that you can put on a salad. So I do let it get a little bit brown sometimes, but I don't want it to overheat. It's crunchy. I mean, it's not crunchy, but it's kind of 
It's got the softness. Ooh, that's hot. Look, y'all. It's got the softness plus the firmness up here of the garlic bread. So I sliced some gar frozen garlic bread, put that in the oven. So I'm going to be having this pasta with sliced garlic bread. And I want to show you all because I just found it, just turned it off. So I just want to show you the goodness of this stuff. So I just use Fiesta cheese, but if I wanted to make it more like a homemade, uh, like I started to say pasta, if I want to make it like a homemade uh, lasagna, I would go in with some ricotta cheese, y'all, but this should do it. You can see the green peppers in there. Also, y'all, I did add a little bit of uh, spaghetti pasta to the dish to, you know, to stretch it because I put in a pound of ground beef that I brown, but one pound of ground beef to this box of beef lasagna makes it more meatier and it's still going to be meatier but I wanted it to be well balanced so as you can see I have spaghetti pasta in there you can see the green chopped green peppers there's also some rush red peppers crushed red peppers that I put in here and this is going to really complete my video I put a little bit of this in there the red crushed red peppers right there and of course, always go in with some black pepper as well. I don't know why that appeared to be a bit blurry. All right, so that's what I'm up to this May 23rd, 2024 in Jacksonville, Arkansas. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Be blessed. All right, so let me get ready to plate her up, y'all. See, it's still hot. See the cheese pulling right there? The cheese is optional, y'all. And I did add a little bit of extra other stuff, too. I'm out. I'm trying to get a thumbnail. I decided to put that garlic bread right over there. I mean, it's kind of... All right, that should do it.